and maternity homes under the regulation 2005. So you just can't say, put a few beds, put a few elderly in it, and you have a home. There are regulations which you must adhere to. And it is a wide-ranging act. It covers things from approval and issuing of the license. It says that suitable attention must be available at all times. It speaks to having the services of a dietitian or nutritionist are available to determine the composition of the meals, ensuring that the meals are adequate, nutritious, and they meet your dietary needs. It also calls, says that you should have ramps, toilet seats, appliances for use by incapacitated persons. It even speaks to things like distances between each bed, how far the bathroom should be for each patient. It speaks of the ratio of caregivers to patients, that you should have adequate emergency water supplies. And you know what happened there a few days ago when we had an emergency in Barbados, we have a contract. Laundry facilities, things like that, also outlined the way they should be and the conditions. Um, okay, for example, the laundry must not pass through all of the space. So it tries to address a wide range of issues that you will have when you open a home. It also speaks that you will have an admission register and what that should contain. So as I said, there's, there's a lot more to it because you take it very seriously when dealing with the care of the elderly patients. Out of that regulation, there's the Advisory and Inspection Committee. It comprises, there are about five, four of us that usually go and inspect the nursing home. There's the Nutrition Officer. She ensures that the two-week cycle menu and that the meals are nutritious, they're adequate, and if there are any special diets, those needs are met. We also have on our team, the public health nurse, who acts as a coordinator, which I am currently in that position, and I am also a registered nurse, a, med um, a midwife, and also a community health nurse. We also have a public health inspector, and she will go in or he will ensure that the ventilation is adequate, that health certificates are available for all staff. She look at the floor area and um, general sanitation practices in the homes. We also have a drug inspector, and he uh, and he's a pharmacist as well. And the one we have now, he is right there. He ensures that when you go, the medication is documented correctly. The patients are given the right dosages, and expired drugs are. Not they are getting gotten rid of, and he ensures also that if you have a narcotic cupboard, it's kept under stringent conditions. 